with this sign I got for Christmas. Isn't it adorable? I am going to hang it right here. It is actually right by my front door. This is my hall closet. I think that is a perfect spot for it. So, ta-da! Love it. Your Sunday lunch. Got some curry here. You might be wondering, Christy, how come there's so little curry in that pot? That is because I am not actually cooking this curry. I am heating it. And your next question, of course, is why are you heating that on the stovetop? Because my microwave is broken. That's why. <laughs> it already this this is old. This was broken a long time ago. But now the actual, as you can see, there is nothing going on there. The light is off. The microwave is completely broken. So I am back to old school, heating food on the stovetop, having to wait forever instead of one to two minutes. What in the world? But it's fine because I'm also cooking rice. I didn't have any rice for my curry either. So, you know, it worked out. But um, yeah, broken microwave. Now the good news, I already own a new microwave. <laughs> I purchased, uh, you know, the kitchen, the new kitchen. So all of these cabinets are going and, uh, you know, bottom cabinets, dishwasher's going, that stove is going, this fridge is going, that microwave was already going. Um, so now I have just had to schedule the delivery of my new microwave sooner than planned. It's coming tomorrow, thank goodness. But in the meantime, here we are, old school heating lunch on the stove. Is it ready yet? I'm hungry. Time to pick a question. All right, let's see what it's gonna be this week. And okay. In your opinion, what is the most beautiful man-made object in the world? Most beautiful man-made object in the world. Uh, nothing comes to mind. Um, <laughs> uh, Honestly, nothing comes to mind. I think, you know, we make a lot of beautiful things and I don't know that I could pick like the most beautiful. Um, I think, you know, we have all kinds of beautiful art that we've created. Um, even, you know, architecture as well, just gorgeous things um, that we have created. And I, I don't think I could pick one to say it's the most beautiful. Um, you know, I think, you know, God created us in his image, which means we have creativity. We have the ability to create, not the way God creates, <laughs> but we do have the ability to, to create. And that does mean that we can, we can make some really beautiful things. We've got art, we've got music, um, architecture, um, cooking, like all of the, the storytelling, all of these things um, are as a result of the imagination and the creativity um, that were granted to us by God. And I think just, just appreciating that we can do that. Um, it, I think that's something that, that we have, the animals don't have the way we do. Um, and I think it's one of them, you know, it's one of the things that makes us, um, you know, that, that that's what kind of what shows that we're in God's image is that ability to create. Um, so I can't pick one thing. I cannot pick one man-made thing that I think is the most beautiful. Um, I can just say that um, in addition to appreciating nature and the things that God has made, I really enjoy also appreciating the things that we have made. I think, you know, art, music, stories, um, all of those are very special. And, uh, and every person who can do something like that and people who can cook, the architects, you know, all of that, um, I really appreciate that. And um, I enjoy listening to music, new music, seeing new pieces of art, reading new stories. Um, yeah, it's one of the things that I enjoy doing the most um, is enjoying the creativity of other people. So that is my answer. It is a non-answer, but <laughs> that is my answer to that question. Hi, it's Sunday afternoon and I am relaxing. I have had my lunch that I had to heat on the stove. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been relaxing, watching YouTube, reading Harry Potter fanfic. 
Uh, in a little while, I'm probably going to play some Sims Medieval. I'm still really enjoying that game. Um, so I will be doing that. Um, probably eat some chocolate later as well, because that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> uh, this week, you know, I went back to work and everything. It's fine. Work is fine. I forgot to film during the week now that I'm back in routine. Um, and I was just, I was basically, I would work and then I would play Sims Medieval at night and then have dinner and go to bed. Like there wasn't a lot going on. <laughs> so that's why I didn't film much this week. I just kind of forgot to do anything. Um, but it was fine. Uh, work is kind of ramping up very slowly. Monday was actually quite busy, kind of catching up and, and taking care of some first of the year um, things that I needed to do. And then after that, it, it got slower again. So I think it'll be a kind of a slow ramp up until we get to our spring peak um, at work. So um, this weekend, I'm actually heading out of town briefly. Um, unfortunately, one of my uncle passed away. He is my the last of my father's siblings. So um, my, my sister pointed out, we are actually the oldest generation now in, in that side of the family. We're not the oldest people, but we're the oldest generation. My uncle Paul was the last of my dad's generation. And so now it's the, the folks in my sisters in my generation are actually the top generation, which is crazy, right? But. Yeah. So, um, but he was, he was, um, I don't know his, his exact age, but he was older than my father and my father was 88 when he passed. So he had a nice long life. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going up, uh, to his home going and, you know, spending time with his immediate family, his son, my cousin and, and, um, my, his kids and all that, um, and everything. And just, you know, prayerfully they're all you know doing all right and it's it's you know based on my experience with dad and uncle paul um also had dementia my dad had alzheimer's i don't think uncle paul had alzheimer's but he had dementia and stuff so it's uh, if it's anything like it was for us with my dad it's it's like mixed feelings it's sort of bittersweet like it's hard to see them that way and to see them declining the way they do so there's a part of you that's like oh you know they're at peace now and they're they're out of that infirm body they're with the lord but there's also, well, I'm not going to get to see them again until it's my turn to go. So it's bittersweet. But um, yeah, so that's coming up. That uh, home going is on Saturday. So I took off work on Friday so I can um, pack and get ready for that little trip. But it's just a little weekend trip. Um, so I have a four day work week coming up. Um, don't anticipate that being an issue. All again, it's not that busy. Um, my microwave broke again, as I mentioned already. Uh, so it was, it's funny. I'm like, I already own the new ones. <laughs> I just had to call the store and ask them to, um, deliver the microwave before the rest of the appliances. Cause the other appliances, I am waiting for them to be delivered because we need to get the new cabinets in first and the new cabinets aren't scheduled to even be like delivered or ready for me until like toward the end of February. <laughs> so of uh, the other appliances I've currently scheduled to be delivered to me toward the beginning of March. And I was like, yeah, I can't be without a microwave <laughs> until March. So that's the, anyway, it's coming tomorrow. So that's good. In the meantime, I'm going to continue heating things on the stove top and in the toaster oven, but I should only have to do that for, uh, I always do breakfast in the toaster oven anyway. So that's not a big deal. So it's, it's lunch tomorrow, basically, hopefully by dinner. I will have the new one. I probably won't have it mounted because I, I would need my brother-in-law to come over and take the old one down and mount the new one. So I'm just gonna like stick it on the countertop somewhere. I'll have to find room and just, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a bit awkward for a little while, but hey, you know, it's fine. Um, so that's kind of all that's going on with me, I think. Yeah, there's not really anything else going on. Um, so aside from the home going this weekend, it should be a, a normal week coming up. So that's that. I don't think I have anything else to say. So let me just pray us out. Um, Lord, I thank you for this week. I thank you that uh, when I went back to work, that it was all fine and that, you know, I was able to keep up with everything, that I remembered how to do my job <laughs> after all those days off. Uh, thank you that I have a good job. I thank you for my wonderful family who I greatly enjoy spending time with and my extended family as well. I pray your blessings on um those closest to Uncle Paul, um, those who are really feeling his loss right now, um, who were, you know, there with him when he passed. So pray for them, for comfort. I pray for anyone watching this who's, in, who's grieving, that you would also comfort them as well. 
Um, I just pray that you're with us in the upcoming week and at work if whatever else that we're doing. And I pray that your will be done in and through all of our lives for your glory and for our good. And this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So as always, uh, I will leave you with number 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Bye.